This is not going to go the way you think. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble. About what? Anything and everything and, uh, oh no, Star Wars news. But it's big news <clears throat> because uh, the teaser trailer, it's more of a trailer because it's two minutes long. Because um, teasers are usually pretty short, at least that's what I always thought, it was a tease. You know, they we're going to tease you with a little... 30 seconds of, of something, but this is two minutes, so, I don't know, it seems more like a trailer to me. Anyhow, <clears throat> yeah, so the trailer of Episode 9 is out, um, along with its title, The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, what is that? What kind of title is that? That just sounds... Silly, actually. Um, I think what would have been a nice uh, title is maybe something that would have... I don't know, like... Something something simple, something similar to the Phantom Menace. You know, just maybe kind of like the opposite of Phantom Menace. That would act like bookends, you know, like from Episode 1 to Episode 9. You know, some type of similar thing. <clears throat> and, I don't know, maybe that's what they're trying to do here. The Phantom Menace, the Rise of Skywalker. Who knows? Um, but, uh, uh, just going through this article here, there's really not much here. But, um, there's a little joke from Mark Hamill where he tweeted that it's not going to focus on the Futurama version of Episode Nine. It's cool that he's a Futurama fan. Uh, Mark Hamill's just cool all the way around. Uh, Yoda's bar mitzvah. But anyway, uh, Rise of Skywalker is supposed to pick up some time after the events of Last Jedi. And it's supposed to have um, f unused footage of Carrie Fisher. I still don't know how I feel about that. Um from The Force Awakens. Wouldn't there be uh, some unused footage from Last Jedi, too? I don't know. Billy D. Williams uh, as Lando Carusian, which would be cool to see, along with Matt Smith, who's coming back as Doctor Who, uh, Richard E. Grant, Carrie Russell, in unspecified roles, blah, 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 blah. Episode 9 will be the last Star Wars movie to continue George Lucas's original... I thought I was going to say original vision. It's anything but that. Skywalker saga before the fl franchise explores other characters in the galaxy far, far away. The spin-offs include the upcoming live-action show The Mandalorian and a new trilogy from The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson. Okay, so... <laughs> I was There's something that's uh, underneath my head. And that would be chicken and waffles from Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> and I think that's more exciting than Star Wars 9. Um, anyway, I've already watched this, so I'm not going to do like a reaction uh, video. And I, I mean, I'll just be honest with you. I am not excited at all for this. I mean, what I saw was just kind of like... Huh? Really? I thought that I thought the trailer for The Last Jedi looked more exciting, you know, and while well, the movie came out and I kind of, you know, walked out of it kind of stunned, you know, and and just more a analyzing of it just realized that this is as a movie by itself, it was interesting, but as part of the Star Wars saga and especially the middle film of a trilogy <clears throat> just wasn't good at all <clears throat> but anyhow I kind of if I 
as far as reaction, I like to kind of react on what people are saying about the trailer. So not so much my reaction of the trailer, but what pe other people have been saying about it. Um, one of the things is that they're saying that, oh, Ray is looking pretty good. She's got a she's got a nice little outfit there. Looks more like a Jedi. Um, no, I, I disagree because this looks very similar to this. I mean, okay, so the it looks like the clothing itself is made out of a different material, but it looks pretty darn close to that. So, I don't know, maybe it is kind of Jedi-ish. Um, yeah, but if we just kind of play through here, and I've got the sound turned off, but... There's a part here where Luke had said, hey, we passed generations of uh, uh, Jedi have been passed over to you. Um, I'm, n I'm surprised that no one has made this uh, analysis yet, but I think J.J. Abrams is trying to um, address the whole Mary Sue issue of why is she so powerful more powerful than any other jedi because all the generations of knowledge of jedi have been passed over to her or something uh, you know, almost as if the uh spirits uh have all i don't want to say like possessed her but you know what i mean it's like yeah there's that whole balance of the force thing right um which is why the sith pretty much destroyed each other because when you only have and, and I could be wrong all right but at least from what I understand when when you have more Sith it's like they're all drawing from the dark side of the force and they're not as powerful but when you have a shrunk those Sith become more powerful I and maybe I'm wrong on that but that's kind of what I thought and since Ray is supposedly the only um, I don't I don't want to say she's a Jedi because I don't know that seems like an insult but let's say uh, force user that she's got all this power and knowledge from all the previous uh, Jedi and that's why she's uh, so powerful that is my theory on how jj abrams is going to address the whole mary sue issue <clears throat> but here i'm gonna mute i'm gonna mute this so i don't have to hear it through my headphones i have it muted on the recording software now this part here okay so the TIE Fighter coming through, that looks cool, all right? I thought that looks pretty cool. Um, is that Kylo Ren? Um, probably. Uh, you know, we don't know for sure. And what I don't understand is that she was facing... Well, may maybe she was facing towards him. Maybe she was facing the other way and turned around. I don't know, but she turns around again. Um... This part, okay, um, where she does this little backflip, okay, as a scene, cool, um, but really, <laughs> it's my other response. That just that's like too overpowered if if you ask me i it just looks i don't know visually it looks cool um in practical ways it just seems kind of ridiculous i mean this is a fast ship and she's gonna leap over it maybe a speeder i don't know <clears throat> but anyway 
and they put this Christmas as if this is like a Christmas movie or something like uh, you know maybe we'll get uh, Saint Nicholas you know like here you know this you know this Santa Claus is is coming to town on the Millennium Falcon or an A-wing fighter now when I first saw this here I almost thought this was um, the Gungan uh, city because it looked like it was looks looks similar but obviously that's that's not what this is um, and then Kylo Ren is fighting <clears throat> and who cares about that but then he's putting together his uh, mask which I didn't think it was all in pieces I thought it was crushed um, but why uh, I mean I know some people have said that this is J.J. Abrams' way of piecing together um, what was torn apart by Ryan Johnson. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Um, why couldn't he have just gotten a new mask? I thought that would have been a cool idea. Um, but no, we have to just kind of go back to where there was. Um, there are people saying that these two are going to have the first uh, gay relationship of <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, man. <clears throat> All right, and then you you've got this cute scene of BB-8 and whatever that whatever that thing is. What what I want to know is throughout this whole teaser, where is R2? R2 was probably was more popular than 3PO. I always thought. Where is he in this teaser? Why isn't he in this teaser? 3PO's in here. Where's R2? He should have been in here. And he's not. Okay, so seeing Londo again uh, was cool. Um, seeing him wearing the same outfit from Solo, um, to me, is not very cool. Uh, who was it? It was uh, Comic comic Book Pro Secrets, uh, even Van Skyther, who said... He's he's got it. It's like really large, but it's relatively um, the same outfit that he had when he was in his early twenties or whatever. And who keeps their clothes that long? <laughs> and I'd, I'd have to agree with him on that. <clears throat> the saga comes to an end. Yeah. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it ended with episode six. Um, some people say this kind of reminds them of pod racing here. Um, maybe. I'm not quite sure. we got speeder bikes. Now, see, 3 is right here. What? Where's R2? How come he's not anywhere around here? This is supposedly the... The, the medal that they were awarded... Um, in A New Hope. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's that's what I've uh, been reading. Um, this is a touching scene, though. It's nice to see Carrie Fisher. Um, and see, and here's the perfect scene where R2 could have been in, but he's not. Instead, we got BB-8 and whatever thing that is. <clears throat> Okay, and this is supposed to be a piece of the Death Star. Now, some people have said that um, this is either Yavin 4 or it's um, Endor. <clears throat> I'm still kind of wondering, you know, didn't that thing like completely disintegrate? But then I was thinking of the planet Alderaan. I mean, it was blown it looked like it was uh, disintegrated, but there were still, you know, debris from it. So I guess <clears throat> there would be debris from the Death Star. Uh, I guess it could be either planet uh, at this point. And just because uh, the moon of Endor is forested doesn't mean that it's forested 
all the way around, you know. I mean, planets are going to have, you know, their own uh, variation of biomes. It wouldn't make sense that it would be all completely forested, you know, and then an ocean. But anyway, I'm going to assume, and then there's that whole thing with the Palpatine laugh at the end. And I've seen reaction videos are like, oh, Palpatine's back. And I'm and my reaction was, really? <laughs> Sounds why they're so they're desperate. They are really desperate. I didn't find that exciting at all. I just found that as are you serious? So I'm guessing here that um they're going to find out some evidence of Palpatine being alive here. Or maybe he's not alive. Maybe he's not alive. Maybe this piece of the Death Star is... Um, let's, just, let's just assume for a moment that this is actually the Moon of Endor. And this is the piece of the Death Star um, from where Palpatine supposedly died. Maybe his Force Spirit is haunting this uh this right here so i don't know that was a thought <clears throat> that's a thought of my own okay yeah so there's really nothing else there and i've seen it kind of sort of mentioned <clears throat> but there are a lot of people who are thinking the Rise of Skywalker. Oh, this is in reference to uh, Luke coming back since Mark Hamill's going to be in it. Or the Rise of Skywalker, it has to do with Rey actually being a Skywalker. I don't think that's it at all. I think the Rise of Skywalker is referring to Kylo Ren. That's what I think. Uh, even though he's supposedly the supreme leader now of the uh, First Order, New Order, whatever this bigger badder evil um that is supposedly in this movie it seems to me that the rise of skywalker is going to be it, i mean it might as well be called the redemption of skywalker so i think this is about kylo ren um redeeming himself and rising himself up to uh the name of you know the name of being a Skywalker so but anyway like I said I'm not excited about this I I sure as heck I'm not going to pay full price to see it um, you know I'll I'll wait for a discount theater or I'll just wait for it to show up on um, Netflix or something um, I'm not going to be fooled again. I mean, the Force Awakens was okay, but you know, it was just kind of a remake of what we've seen before. The Last Jedi was just kind of like I was stunned. It was, you know, it was fun. It was fun to watch the first time, and then you just kind of walk out going, "What was it I just watched?" and the only one that I thought was really, really good to see on the big screen was Rogue One. And with the scene with Vader, absolutely, that was just the coolest thing ever on a huge screen. Um, but Solo, we watched that at the Dollar Theater, and which I actually liked. I actually enjoyed Solo. Because at least it was trying to do something different. Um... Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about about this? I think I'm trying to think what George Lucas would be thinking right now, and he's probably he's probably shaking his head, thinking, "Man, this is just hot garbage," is what this is, because all three movies don't seem to. There's no cohesion between them. They've already admitted that they didn't really have an overall vision of it um and considering you're gonna have three different directors because 
Colin Trevorrow was supposed to do the third one. I mean, it's just a complete freaking mess. It's 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 a mess, and I don't see how this is going to make anything any better. You know, you have to have a good foundation. And well, Force Awakens, I thought okay, I thought it was going to be a good foundation to work off of, and then Last Jedi just kind of like broke that foundation, and now. With the rise of Skywalker, um, which you could call it the rise of skyscraper. <laughs> I mean, you can't rise a skyscraper off of a foundation that is busted. Okay, um, it's just going to crumble, and that's what I see out of this trilogy. They're trying to build this really big excitement, this beautiful skyscraper. All it's going to do is go, it's just, it's just going to fall. <clears throat> visually, will it look good? Oh, yeah, I'm sure visually it'll look good. Will it be an interesting uh, story just like self-contained? Probably, you know, probably would make a great standalone sci-fi movie. Um, but I think that's all it's going to be. I think it's just going to be a really cool sci-fi film. But as far as a part of a trilogy... Or part of the Star Wars saga? No. it It's going to be crap. It, it's just going to be crap. Uh, like I said, this it doesn't excite me at all. Um, and the reaction videos that I've seen on YouTube just look so fake. They... <laughs> Really, honestly, and when I look at the, the the videos, and they're like, "Oh my, oh, come on, really? That is so fake, so forced." I don't know. Maybe I just don't have any emotion. I guess it comes to getting old. I don't know. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? I I think it's garbage. Um, let me know. Let me know in the uh, in the comments what you think. Um, what do you think about my theories? Uh, do you think um, uh, do you think there's uh, you know, what are your own theories? Um, yeah, tell me that. What are your own theories? And R two, where the hell is he? <laughs> Maybe we'll see him in another uh, trailer. Um, and. Uh, Maybe the movie will look better and further trailers. But remember, trailers are supposed to show the best parts. They're supposed to get you excited. This doesn't get me excited at all. Eh, you know, maybe it's just me. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on another rambling video. Hopefully it won't be about Star Wars anytime soon.